All right, we got another stack we're gonna check out. So this is the Micro Lux V3 stack. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the V1. I know a ton of people had problems with the gyro on it and uh, having to soft mount the crap out of their quad just to even be able to fly it off. V2 was pretty awesome. Uh, I was a fan of that for sure but it was a little bit expensive um, and now there's V3 and this actually is affordable and it's very nice so this is what it looks like when you get it let's open it up oh, and out popped a capacitor this is a 330 25 volt so for $64.99 you get F4 flight controller 30 amp 4-in-1, a capacitor, some uh, hardware, and a battery cable. That's pretty nice that they include that. You know what's funny is, uh, let me grab it real quick. Where are you? Um, here is the Heli Nation Talon F4, and it comes with, you know, the flight controller, the plug, and you get a little bag with some uh, rubber grommets, some M3 standoffs. These little things right here, I'm not sure what those go in. Do you put those inside the rubber grommets, I guess? Oh, I bet that's to make it into M2. I don't know for sure, but the funny thing is it comes with a XT30, but no cable. And this comes with the cable, but no XT30. <laughs> uh, that was one of the main things that I loved about the DYS F4 stack because it came with the battery cable and a XC30 and it was actually attached to the foreign one already so it was just totally ready to go but I actually told Heli Nation that they should include this uh, I'm not complaining that it doesn't come with the battery cable I think it's awesome that they include a XT30 uh, especially a black one because I love those um, I wish somebody would make like all different colored ones that'd be pretty cool but yeah Heli Nation Talon is a badass flight controller. I love that thing. Uh, and I'm building the Acro Brat with it here pretty soon. But anyway, let's get back to what we're going to be talking about. So, yeah, battery cable, it is uh, 18 gauge. Perfect for this stack. Man, as soon as I pick up the 4 in 1, I can tell right away that it's got some weight to it. Like, it just feels hefty pretty heavy uh, I like the white it has real big pads that's awesome big pads for the motors as well as the battery cable and pads are on both sides and that is just awesome that that's one of the things I always look for in a foreign one if it has pads on both sides because you know people will rip pads off and sometimes not even on purpose Sometimes, you know, a, a motor wire could get yanked on from crashing into something and it could rip a pad right off. Uh, I haven't seen that happen too often, but it can happen. So it's always nice to have pads on both sides, you know. I mean, if it was just on one side and you rip a pad off, then you're done. So, yeah, it's really nice. So this stack goes together with pins. Um... I know there's some people that aren't fans of pins. I personally don't mind because um, what I do is just make sure that you build the stack right to where you know the flight controller doesn't have a, any wiggle room because that's when. So you know people were breaking a lot of the HGLRC stacks, mainly the F428, I think, um, and that was because they were using that crappy little m2 stuff that they sent with it this 
and that was nylon this is nylon as well but it's m3 and m3 is going to be a lot harder to bend and you know in a crash i mean how often are you going to crash into something where it hits the flight controller directly you know it's basically just from vibration hits that end up doing it in but i have a feeling that um lumineer does a better job than hglrc at actually putting the pins on the board so well wherever they have them made anyway and i don't know that's just an opinion of mine i really don't know <clears throat> so let's see that's forward one two three four so that's forward just like that so you got battery cable out the back motors on the sides so it's going to be sticking out the sides uh, quite a bit so you might want to take that in consideration uh, for the frame that you were wanting to put it on but you can always turn it if you wanted to I guess then you got the battery cable sticking out the side so this is a 30 amp it is BL Heli 32 uh, it doesn't come with any kind of booklet or anything so you probably just gotta download the manual online or something um, I don't know what the burst rating is it looks very nice it's conformal coated as well flight controller so you got your separate pads over here for S bus 5 volt ground over here you have a ground 5 volt LED strip and your buzzer pads and over here is your ground in 5 volt and video in and out and then you have a spare UART right here that's UART 6 and on the bottom you have 3.3 volt and UART 3 and a ground nice it looks very nice it's conformal coated as well looks pretty good no boot button just boot pads right here yeah so it looks nice and for $65 you know that's not a bad price especially for uh, Lumineer maybe they're uh, dropping their prices some on their stuff I don't know <laughs> yeah so they just have spacers they're not actually standoffs that they want you to go in between I'll probably use standoffs. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, that's not bad. I mean, 65 bucks is a very good price for this. Um, I guess I could show the Talon too for anybody that hasn't seen it. looks a little bit different from the first one that I had I had a pre-production one but that was a while back they've already they've probably made a few changes since then I love the color on this too So yeah, not a lot to show. I mean, it's got a eight pin plug here. Uh, this will plug into a few different foreign ones. I have one right here. They sell this as a, as a stack. 
at Heli Nation. This is the uh, Speedix 25 amp 4-in-1. And this will plug right into it. Just like that. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the battery cable being in the middle here, but you know it is kind of nice that it's you know it's tucked away, it's hidden underneath in the middle. Um, you know it's not going to be in the way of anything. You can solder up your motor wires, and then you got this just hanging out there. I guess it doesn't make it too much thicker. A couple millimeters. But then you got the plug on the bottom, which makes it even thicker. So overall, it's you know it's a lot thicker than it needs to be. Uh, if they could move this plug to this side, but they wouldn't be able to because of all this stuff. So maybe if they can move the battery cables to this side, be a little bit better. But. Trying to see which way is okay. One, two, three, four. So it goes just like that, and then this goes this way. Not bad for the thickness. Look how thick that flight controller is. Super thick. It's definitely thicker, thicker than the Lumineer one. Quite a bit, almost double. <laughs> nice so yeah this one you know it has everything that you'd need just like any other one um, you got the camera stuff right here telemetry pad um, and then your s bus pads right there you got a uh, spare UART four and six V background and then the signal pads, uh, your LED, and then VTX power. Camera power and signal and then VTX power and signal right here. So it's nice that they did it that way to where the front has the camera pads because of course the camera is going to be out front and underneath in the back is the VTX pads. So. Yeah, pretty nice. A couple of nice stacks here. Um, I would definitely recommend both of those. I have used this flight controller. I haven't used this 4-in-1, but, you know, I love Speedix stuff. I've used plenty of all their other, their other stuff, their 4-in-1s and their stacks. Uh, and then like I said with this one the v2 was awesome, so I'm sure this is going to be as well And the price is right both of these stacks are the exact same price also This one looks it's a lot smaller, but taller And uh yeah, let's look at the size. Look at the size difference. Both are going to do the job, though. So, yeah, that's about all I got, I think. Yep. All right.